hello everyone so in previous video we have seen about the i am user and i am group by the practical in this particular video we are going to understand about the i am role okay i am role so when actually we use i am role let us try to understand that okay for taking example suppose this is your aws account suppose this is your aws account okay now in this aws account you have a one easy to service okay and suppose you also have one s3 storage okay okay so this is your ec2 and this is your s3 now our requirement is like whether where actually ec2 has to communicate with the s3 our ec2 instance has to communicate with the s3 so how actually we can do in that kind of the scenario generally we use the im role so with the help of the im role we will create one im role s3 role through which ec2 can be able to communicate to the s3 okay how actually we can do let me try to show you okay so i'll go to my aws console i'll search for the im okay left side i'll create click on the role okay yeah, and i will click click on the create role okay so what actually we want to do we want to create a ec2 common uses right so i will select the ec2 only okay now after that you click on the next okay click on the whether uh, we want a ec2 has to communicate with the s3 right so i will search for the s3 amazon s3 full access so i'll select that okay next okay and it is asking for the role name so i will give the s3 s3 role this is the name i am giving s3 role make sure you remember that okay and uh, after that i will just click on the create role okay now you will be able to see one role has been got created now we'll search for the s3 so this is the role we have created it okay and we have given the amazon s3 full access now what we will do what we will do uh, we will try to create a ec2 service okay we'll try to create a ec2 services how actually we can mount it i will try to show you okay so first we'll try to create one ec2 service click on the launch instance okay uh, let us try to create one linux machine okay amazon linux one instance i want to select okay and rest i will go with uh, as it is the free tier i will select okay keep a name if you have you can select that okay and the uh, traffic will be the anywhere anyone can access as of now just for the testing purpose and i will just click on the launch instance okay so, so let me create a, a new create new pair okay and i will click on the create key pair okay so we are downloaded and we are trying to launch it okay so it is launching one instance and okay now what we will do we'll try to go to the instance okay whatever the instance we have created okay so you can see the state is pending now what we have to do once it will complete right we have to click here now it now if you will see it is running right so we have to click on the linux machine click on the action go to the security click on the modify im role and we can attach the s3 role whatever the policy we have created and update the im role now this linux machine will be easily able to communicate to the s3 okay where actually we use it so when we try to do a glue right when we'll try to do any kind of the data engineering activity so in that kind of the scenario what actually happens you have to communicate the lambda lambda function has to communicate to the your s3 storage so uh, lambda function has to communicate to the aws glue in that kind of scenario this im role 
helps okay and it is very important when we'll do a practical about the uh, aws glue there actually we will see more about it okay but i hope you got it where actually we use it thank you